Good afternoon, uh, Innocent and Hamilton. Can you tell us from which school are you from? Good afternoon, um, Drew. Uh, my name is Innocent Mshaninga and I'm from Hartman House, part of St. George's College in Harare. Good afternoon, Mr. Ndu. My name is Hamilton Maganga and I'm from St. Ignatius College, which is in Harare. Mm -hmm. You attended uh, the restorative justice uh, training. Uh, can you tell us when you started to attend? Uh, so the restorative justice workshop was done in March um, last year, so that's a year ago. And yeah, you wanted to know when. Yeah, yeah. so that's when it was done, yes. Yes, and it was actually a three-day workshop and we did manage to attend all the three sessions. And after attending, what did you do at your school? How did you implement it so it was uh, it was quite an eye-opener it was so enlightening and uh, we learned a lot of things different approaches to how we have been dealing with issues to do with discipline so from there i started slowly implementing the things that we were taught um, having to unlearn also the old methods where you would say if a child misbehaves you want to punish them to now moving to talking them through their behavior and hoping that in that whole process there can be some uh, restoration of some sort. Mm -hmm. So I, that's how I implemented it. So the key takeaway for me uh, from the workshop was that uh, is there peace in our schools? We learned that uh, peace begins with me and uh, the big question was uh, do we have peace in our schools? Do we have peace in our communities? And uh, so when I went back to my college, I then decided uh, to implement trainings to members of staff. So I then went ahead to invite uh, uh, personnel from the Jesuit Education Office, uh, Lynette and Victor, to assist me in training my members of staff. So I also invited some key non-teaching staff and uh, together we were trained and uh, I also trained together with Lynette and Victor, the team that we brought. And uh, we did this also over a period of uh, three days, uh, training them on peace, uh, keep peace out, make peace in our schools, training them also on uh, restorative practices. And uh, I think there is a seed that we managed to sow in our members of staff during those days. And uh, what we want to see this year is what has happened. Is the seed growing? Is the seed being nurtured? And uh, can we go ahead to actually implement? Because the main focus for us now going ahead is are we going to be implementing what we learned last year and what we've also learned uh, during this uh, particular training session. How, did, how was the training received by the teachers or the staff itself? Yes, uh, in my school, uh, they were very happy uh, for me to be cascading what we had learned uh, during the three-day workshop in Masasa and uh, after the training that we did to them the majority of them were raring to go really just to see how this will impact on our children so what we then decided to do was to schedule trainings to student leadership as well to the other members of non-teaching staff who had not been trained but uh, it was well received mm. what you innocent yes mm. was there any can you tell us anything, any attitude changes on the children that you tried the method with? Good. Um, so we did not do a formal training for staff. What I just did was to start implementing it slowly with both staff and children. And um, where staff would come and bring a child to be punished, because that's what I've always done before, um, I would then sit the child down, talk to the child, and then the child goes back to the classroom maybe smiling and the teacher is wondering what is going on here this child must be coming back here crying or you know things mm -hmm. like that but it was a different thing altogether so it was not understood at the beginning we are, are we encouraging um what behaviors are we encouraging when we do not punish anymore are we losing our discipline are we losing our rules and laws for the school so in the beginning it wasn't really understood until i then explained to the teachers and even some parents, the parents are actually the main <laughs> main challenge. Because I remember for an in, or for an incident where I had to um, use restorative justice to deal with a bullying case, 
and the parent then asked and said why is this child who bullied my child still in school mm -hmm. and you know i had to go through that whole explanation about we're trying to restore this child the victim yes we want to protect him but also the the culprit they also have to be protected do we need to assist them in in, in in those ways and that was like i said at the beginning was not well received but we have gradually gotten to a point where now we are slowly um, getting to understand where this is going and what you're trying to do in terms of restoring uh, good behaviors in the children. And if I may aid as well, uh, the training that we did last year was in March. So this was at uh, the three day training workshop by Anne. So at our school, we then did the training a bit from May to July. Mm -hmm. Then a plus for us was during the third term, we then agreed with our members of staff to just allocate about uh, 15 minutes before the lessons start. Lessons are starting at 7.30. So around quarter past to half past, that was a class teacher's period. And within this period, we actually had a list of values, the values that we also were looking at uh, at our training workshop in Masasa. So we then say to our members of staff, if you could possibly pick one value, out of the list of eight values that we, we had, respect, responsibility. We then say, just pick one and talk about it for the whole week. So during last year, during the third term, we had members of staff, every class teacher's period, which was about 15 minutes, they were actually picking on these values and discussing with the learners. So I think we had a good uh, base for us and our learners and I hope for this year, we are actually going to take off from where we left. Thank you. And so, in general, can I just get your final comments, yourself, Innocent, mm -hmm. and yourself, after this training, mm -hmm. as to what are your impressions on the restorative approach itself? Um, I strongly uh, am a believer of restorative justice. Um, I, I, I can see now that retribution and um, punitive measures just lead to worsening of behaviors. They are short-term solutions which do not necessarily help a child in any way. Um, I like restorative justice because there is hope. It gives someone a chance and hope that they can be a better person. Um, I'll, give, I'll close with this uh, one example that, um, that actually happened when I started re, um, implementing the restorative justice where these children were sent to my office, there was an issue between them, and they came in tears, and they were shivering. You know, it was Mr. Mush, I'm the deputy head, so I'm in charge of that. So Mr. Mush is going to punish us, Mr. Mush is going, is going to call his, our parents, we're in trouble, things like that, detention. But then I just sat them down there, and I said, um, what are you expecting uh, is going to happen here? Yeah? And they said, we're in trouble, we're going to get suspended. And I said, no, that's not going to happen. I want to talk, to, I want us to talk about this, I had my mini conferencing there with them, getting to talk about it. And at the end of the day, these children have changed. You know, it's amazing how their behaviors and their attitudes have changed and their parents are wondering what is going on. So I'm just so thankful, grateful to you for, for, for this course. And from, I mean, from what we've done now this, um, this time around, the new things that have been added, you know, active listening, presence, forgiveness, you know, conflict management, all those things. I'm going to continue to implement it's not easy but change is possible thank you thank you what strikes me most and uh, got to inspire my members of staff uh, at our college is the fact that uh, restorative practices actually take the learner back into the classroom rather than the punitive which actually deprives the learner of some of the benefits of uh, being educated or having lessened at the college so this is very key for us. We see it as an advantage for us that uh, we need to take up restorative practices rather than punitive. It actually builds relationships, relationships amongst learners themselves, relationships between learners and uh, teaching staff. And uh, these relationships in the community can actually lead to hope being built in our college. We will definitely go for restorative practices this year. Thank you. Thank you very much to both of you and good luck. Thank you. For Thank the rest you. Of, of, of your implementation Thank you. and changing the mindset. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks, Thank you.